it is uh, it's <coughs> a small topic on <coughs> secretariat cabinet secretariat <coughs> so since all secretariats are staff agencies as we told you yesterday about central secretariat the central secretariat is secretariat for all the ministry departments now cabinet secretariat is secretariat for cabinet so since cabinet already we have taught cabinet cabinet is a body cabinet is the authority or body you can say which is affects in decision making it takes the all major decisions of the government then when cabinet functions and it needs assistance so that is provided by cabinet secretariat this you have to understand a minister or cabinet rank minister prime minister they have dual roles one as a minister another as member of cabinet one as prime minister leader of the nation another as head of the government so prime minister wala will talk after when will talk prime minister the prime minister also has dual roles one that he is the head of the cabinet and second that he himself heads some ministry departments which there i have not told when we'll take pmo there we'll talk it so prime minister heads some ministry departments you can say that the department of space is under control of prime minister so when he is head of department of space so he need also secretariat assistance that secretarial assistance is given by prime minister office so for prime minister personal help there is a prime minister office which is a secretariat of prime minister but when prime minister works as head of the cabinet or a minister works as member of cabinet hence they get assistance from cabinet secretariat a minister also has his her own secretariat like finance minister has finance secretariat home minister would have his own office but when they become part of cabinet so they become one member means one body the cabinet as a body or cabinet as an institution so it gets assistance by cabinet secretariat and it is headed by cabinet secretary since <coughs> cabinet is the apex decision making body so therefore assisting institution would also be considered as apex permanent institution so central secretariat it gives assistance to ministers cabinet secretariat gives assistance to cabinet so cabinet secretariat is status will also be or cabinet secretary status will also be superior to secretaries this the cabinet secretary so this is what we can say in a way cabinet secretariat is politically headed by prime minister administratively it is headed by cabinet secretary this so that is how we find this in some of the basic aspects now you should know that this office or be it prime minister office or secretariat system entire secretariat system has its evolution during british administration time you know that when governor was designated as governor <laughs> means governor of bengal was given this superior status so in that superior status let's say executive council was also set up the governor general had his executive council and to assist executive council secretariat was established as per indian council act 1861 secretariat system was regularized during british time So whatever you have secretariat system today it has its british origin and it has only one origin because when we had uh, till let's say that in 1919 act or till uh, or conduct means uh, holding of first election will find so there was governor general there was no elected government when there was governor general no elected government the governor general was the only body or only authority taking decision and he can have his executive council he can have his legislative council that legislative council was separated from executive council in 1853 act the legislative council later became legislature and executive council remained then when executive council remained so members of the executive council they got assistance from secretariat 
so executive council had its own secretariat which they got assistance same thing happened at state level that state executive council of governor at state level so they got assistance by secretariat so there was secretariat that secretariat started playing later on three different types of roles secretariat for ministry departments secretariat for <coughs> cabinet and secretariat for prime minister the secretariat for prime minister secretariat for cabinet secretariat for ministry departments so all these three secretariats have the same origin <coughs> the secretariat system which evolved during british time that is how the past we can say now after this let's say independence so we have to see the role and functions the role and functions of cabinet secretariat will be similar to the role and functions of cabinet so the way cabinet performs its functions and the way cabinet remains significant cabinet secretariat also remains significant and if at all cabinet uh, cabinet significance is undermined the cabinet secretariat significance is also undermined hence cabinet secretary significance is also undermined and when it is undermined so you know that there is one mind that is called prime minister office so when there is undermining of this institution so there is mining of one institution and that you can consider prime minister office and when there is that is how we say that when there is rise of pmo so there is downfall of <coughs> cabinet secretariat and cabinet secretary so principal secretary versus cabinet secretary and cabinet secretariat versus prime minister office which will deal after this so since we told yesterday also even if there is centralization still cabinet remains important our cabinet system has to some extent got institutionalized so that way we can say so in that way we cannot say that the cabinet secretariat is not relevant even if there is rise of prime minister office in fact we have several types of cabinet committees cabinet role remains important several departments are also located within cabinet since cabinet deals with important role and functions therefore some of the departments are located within cabinet secretariat or first they are set up in cabinet secretariat then they are shifted out if you remember first organization and method so it was set up in cabinet secretariat later on it was shifted out as of now scientific advisory council so scientific advisory council is located in cabinet secretariat this joint intelligence committee is located in <laughs> cabinet secretariat so there are some of the important offices of the government including direct benefit uh, transfer mission is also located in cabinet secretariat so there are important some of the departments are institutions which are located in cabinet secretariat which show that the cabinet secretariat still performs important role and functioning of cabinet secretariat promotes collective form of democracy or cabinet form of democracy a decentralized decision making that is how we can say and we'll talk while talking cabinet secretary also so let's write on this right cabinet secretariat is a staff agency a staff agency which was set up in 1947 set up in 1947 although it is based on it is based on british administration legacy british administration legacy it is the apex administrative body it is the apex administrative body of government of india apex administrative body of <coughs> government of india which provides provides assistance to cabinet which provides assistance to cabinet in its effect assistance to cabinet in its effective functioning assistance to cabinet in its effective functioning effective function change paragraph cabinet secretariat 
cabinet secretariat has its origin linked to origin linked to executive council secretariat of executive council secretariat of governor general governor general after independence after independence it was named as cabinet secretariat it was named as cabinet secretariat and it has been given a status of it has been given a status of an independent department an independent department under business rules of the government independent department and business rules of the government 1961 1961 politically it is headed by prime minister politically it is headed by prime minister and its administrative head its administrative head is cabinet secretary cabinet secretary role and functions role and functions of cabinet secretariat it performs all performs all those role and functions it performs all those role and functions which are performed by which are performed by cabinet hence it deals with all the major decisions of the government it deals with all the major decisions of the government government including bills budget bills budget policies bills budget policies policies president's rule ordinance security and intelligence of the country security and intelligence of the country intelligence of the country then as a staff agency as a staff agency its role is to assist cabinet as a staff agency its role is to assist cabinet assist cabinet so that it is able to take effective decisions and after decision after decision it ensures implementation of decisions it ensures implementation of decisions implementation of decisions by supervising ministry departments by supervising and monitoring ministry departments monitoring ministry departments ministry departments all the cabinet committees all the cabinet committees get assistance from cabinet secretariat cabinet secretariat next <coughs> cabinet secretary next yes cabinet secretary 
cabinet secretary right. it is the most important office it is the most important office in government of india by a civil servant in government of india by a civil servant he is considered the senior most civil servant of the country he is considered the senior most civil servant of the country senior most civil servant of the country and he is head of indian civil service he is head of indian civil service ideally he should be ideally he should be the senior most so that after serving as cabinet secretary after serving as cabinet secretary he retires he retires since 2005 his tenure is fixed for 2 years since 2005 his tenure is fixed for 2 years tenure is fixed for 2 years role and functions role and functions he is the chief advisor He is the chief advisor to cabinet, headed by prime minister. He is the chief advisor to cabinet, headed by prime minister. Prime minister. Prime minister, and hence his personality characteristics. personality characteristics knowledge expertise stature knowledge expertise and stature should be very high should be very high so that he can provide think tank support to prime minister and cabinet members prime minister and cabinet members hence he performs first chief advisor role chief advisor role next chief coordinator chief coordinator between ministry departments ministry departments next monitoring implementation of cabinet decisions monitoring implementation of cabinet decisions cabinet decisions next working as working as head of the civil service head of the civil service to influence to influence civil services in india civil services in india and civil services in india and redress grievances of civil servants redress grievances of civil servants civil servants chain paragraph therefore the style and the style of functioning and personality of cabinet secretary the style of functioning and personality of cabinet secretary cabinet secretary can work as motivation for can work as motivation for civil servants 
सिविल सर्वेंट्स सिविल सर्वेंट्स सो दीज आर सम बेसिक्स तो व्हेन वी से कैबिनेट सेक्रेटेरियट एज वी आर टॉकिंग ऑलरेडी यू नो लाइन एंड स्टाफ एजेंसी I know about cabinet. So cabinet needs any assistance, needs any information, needs any knowledge, needs any such kind of things. So it is assisted by cabinet. Is assisted by cabinet secretariat. First, so it can be related to economy, development, security, innovation, administration, governance, reforms, whatever. Let's say that. So it should give assistance because cabinet takes all those decisions. So it is supposed to provide all those uh, assistance to cabinet so that it is able to take informed decision. And similarly, cabinet secretary should be one who has the high caliber. He knows all those nuances of the field, and he has high level of knowledge, expertise, vision also. So his personality should be, let's say, uh, almost let's say, the best civil servant in the country. So he should have personality like that. because it is the highest position for a civil servant after secretary cabinet secretary and highest civil let's say position the highest position means highest caliber so highest caliber means this is how that civil servants will try to dream let's say it is a dream post you can say although there are many other extra let's say that ki extraneous dream post but <coughs> cabinet secretary so you will have you will idealize that you want to become cabinet secretary although people idealize to become is not cabinet secretary then then so because is tak hi knowledge hai uske baad kya hai nahi so people know is more than cabinet secretary isn't it ye kya hota hai right so i it is convention it is not a rule that he is the head so there is no any rule which defines that he is the head of the civil service rather let's say that it is considered as a convention that he is the head of the civil service so he is head he is presumed in that fashion he should have a high caliber otherwise you know what will happen government can face lots of challenges if think tank is not like kautilya means it to sense kautilya so morya let's say that and morya administration kautilya as the think tank so this is how you should have the think tank and think tank many a time should be much more intelligent than the head of the government this that way it happens let's say the head of the government can have vision let's say that he can be visionary because of leadership but the think tank is more about in knowledge side expertise side that way we can say that that is how the personality of uh, cabinet secretary he is also let's say he helps in any civil servant has any such grievance and he ha- his grievance has not been addressed at any such platform or all the platforms have failed to address his grievance the last forum is called cabinet secretary he can approach cabinet secretary and cabinet secretary has this discretion to intervene in that matter although it is also not done as per the rule there is no such rule it is considered that if any civil servant has any such grievance that has not been addressed so he can approach cabinet secretary for his intervention and then when cabinet secretary decides to intervene so prime minister will also should not also let say that okay, bar him from such intervention <coughs> anyhow these are all internal things so this we can consider till 2005 tenure of cabinet secretary was not defined so it was fixed only it is fixed it has no secrecy of tenure in 2005 five such functionaries tenures were fixed intelligence bureau this uh, cabinet secretary some other functionaries so two year stable tenure ideally cabinet secretary should be a senior most person once you serve as senior cabinet secretary you should retire otherwise it will not be good it will not look good although it in, in cricket it looks good ki virat kohli after captain can be player also isn't it but cabinet secretary after becoming cabinet secretary tomorrow he cannot become secretary to government of india is it like that so if he becomes it is a, a sort of humiliation no once you become a, suppose prime minister today he is prime minister tomorrow home minister <laughs> <laughs> no 
सो हाउ इल फील राइट आई थिंक दोनों को दोनों लोगों को जो एक्सचेंज कर लेना चाहिए थोड़े दिन के लिए यस एक ही बात रहेगी सो क्वेश्चन इन दैट कि सो आइडियली ही शुड रिटायर एंड आइडियली इट हैपेंस आल्सो कि कैबिनेट सेक्रेटरी वंस ही इज अपॉइंटेड एज कैबिनेट सेक्रेटरी तो हीज रिटायरमेंट इज एंड टेन्योर इज सच दैट कि आफ्टर सर्विंग एज कैबिनेट सेक्रेटरी ही रिटायर्स बट द सेम कैन नॉट बी सेड वेन विल टेक चीफ सेक्रेटरी केस देयर इट डज नॉट हैपन will talk the way cabinet secretary has maintained the decorum of the office the way president has maintained but the way governors have not maintained similarly chief secretaries have also not maintained the decorum of the office right that time will also come so we'll talk one day let's write working of cabinet secretary <coughs> working of cabinet secretary cabinet secretary cabinet secretariat has cabinet secretariat has gone through its ups and downs ups and downs that it has seen its both expansion and shrinking it has seen its both expansion and shrinking expansion and shrinking <clears throat> that initially there were three wings civil intelligence and defense civil intelligence and defense civil deals with all the civil affairs of the cabinet civil deals with all the civil affairs of the cabinet next intelligence deals with intelligence deals with security related matters security related matters in terms of intelligence sharing and coordination intelligence sharing and coordination in terms of intelligence sharing and coordination <coughs> coordination like joint intelligence committee is located in intelligence wing like joint intelligence committee is located in intelligence wing intelligence wing intelligence wing however the defense wing was later shifted the defense wing was later shifted out shifted out when ministry of defense was created when ministry of defense was created ministry of defense was created change okay. paragraph time to time time to time attach offices attach offices and other such statutory bodies have been created attach offices and other statutory bodies have been created 
have been created. But it is also found that after some time, after some time, either they are, either they are done away with, either they are done away with or shifted out to different department, shifted out to different departments, like first O and M was initially set up. O and M was initially set up in Cabinet Secretariat in 1954. O and M was initially set up in Cabinet Secretariat in 1954, but later it was shifted out. Later it was shifted out. Thanks. A performance management division was set up. Performance management division was set up during UPA tenure. A performance management division was set up during UPA tenure, headed by cabinet secretary. A performance management division was set up by set up during UPA tenure, headed by cabinet secretary. But the present government has discontinued. The present government has discontinued. Discontinued. As of now, it has following four major of as of now, it has following four major major attach offices or statutory bodies. Statutory bodies like Directorate of Public Grievances. First, Directorate of Public Grievances. Directorate of Public Grievances. Next, National Authority. National Authority. Chemical Weapons Convention. National Authority Chemical, Chemical Weapons Convention. Convention. Next, Office of Principal Scientific Advisor. Office of Principal Scientific Advisor. Next, Direct Benefit Transfer Mission. Direct Benefit Transfer Mission. Transfer Mission. Okay. Let's, therefore, Cabinet Secretariat has remained dynamic has remained dynamic in terms of its evolution, 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 significance, significance, even if, significance, even if it, it has been overshadowed. It has been overshadowed by rise of Prime Minister office. Even if it has been overshadowed by rise of Prime Minister office, Prime Minister office, still it plays significant role. Still it plays significant role significant role in terms of terms of first it provides it provides think tank assistance think tank assistance next it establishes link between it establishes link between between 
ministry departments ministry departments cabinet cabinet and the president the president secretariat means the president's secretariat secretariat next it promotes coordination between ministry departments promotes coordination between ministry departments and sort out differences between them <coughs> sort out differences between them that okay. its functioning helps it functioning promotes promotes cabinet form of government cabinet form of government and a collective decentralized decision making a collective decentralized decision making decentralized decision making the role of cabinet secretary has also remained the role of cabinet secretary has also remained very important as his personality has contributed his personality has contributed contributed not only in not only in effective decision making as chief advisor effective decision making as chief advisor but also administrative reforms administrative reforms innovations innovations and development development the personality of cabinet secretary the personality of cabinet secretary has also remained very influential very influential like transformative leadership like transformative leadership some of the important names of cabinet secretaries some of the important cabinet secretaries who have been very popular who have been very popular in indian administration known for their initiatives known for their initiatives and reforms reforms are reforms are first nr pillai nr pillai first cabinet secretary S S Khera, T N Session, T N Session, Naresh Chandra, Naresh Chandra. T S R Subramaniam, T S R Subramaniam, B K Chaturvedi, B K Chaturvedi, No Divedi, Last Rajiv Gauba,
So that's all. <coughs> See, questions they do not ask only and cabinet secretariat. If at all question is asked, it will be largely linked to prime minister office. So, more than enough for that answer, this is more than that you cannot write. So, it is a kaam chalana hai. Aur kahi content aapko milega nahi. Jo bhi padhoge, sab purana content milega. <coughs> Kuch aise topics hai, jiske content nahi hota hai. Aur padhna bhi nahi hai. Right. If you want to read more bookish type person, to koi baat nahi. Bolo do char books mein bata deta ho. Isn't it? So this is what you should know that. They are, they are some important cabinet secretaries. Hence you remember them, they will help you in GS paper also. So that you should not write or forced to write Deepak Rawat. In law ka naam loge, to pata chale bhaiye, ye kaun hai? Isn't it? सुना ही नहीं है जिससे हमने बताया उपेंद्र बक्सी नो किसी दिन टीवी चैनल पे आ जाएंगे तो क्या होगा पता ही नहीं चलेगा क्या बोल रहा है कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा है एजेंटेड तो वैसे लोग चाहिए भी नहीं वैसे भी लोग हिंदू पढ़ते नहीं है ना एजेंटेड बोरिंग है पकाऊ टाइप का पेपर है जब तक यूपीएससी का प्रिपरेशन नहीं करना है हिंदू नहीं पढ़ना है हिंदू बनना है पढ़ना नहीं है एनी हाउ सो दी नेम्स यू कैन रेफर एल्स वेर आल्सो बिकॉज एनी कैबिनेट सेक्रेटरी विल नॉट हैव ऑर्डिनरी पर्सनालिटी दिस यू शुड नो दैट एनी कैबिनेट सेक्रेटरी विल नॉट बी एन ऑर्डिनरी पर्सन ही वुड हैव सर्टेन स्टैच दिस नहीं तो उसके बस की नहीं है याद ही नहीं रहेगा पता चलेगा कल के मीटिंग में क्या बोला था नो no, तो प्राइम मिनिस्टर क्या बोलेंगे जब याद ही नहीं रहता है तो हम आपको क्यों याद करें जेंट so, <laughs> तो पॉलिटी आप याद करते हो तो हिस्ट्री भूल जाता है सो ही शुड बी अ पर्सन ऑफ सच ए हाई कैलिवर यू नो Because anything cabinet deals with anything. No, chat GPT I have. So, बोले के cabinet में क्या है ये? So cabinet members can ask anything. They deal with all major decisions. Largely the decisions they deal, they are all challenging decisions. Try to understand. सलाह देने वाले बहुत लोग हैं. Ideas देने वाले बहुत लोग हैं. There are so many people who can give you lots of ideas, right? <coughs> but those who take decisions, जिसको लेना होता है, so those who take decisions, those who have to execute decisions, this you should know that. For them, it matters more than the way you are also getting ideas from your brother, sister, neighbors, isn't it? So, prelims ka paper aap leg da ke dikhana aapne bhai ko, aapne bhaiyan ko bhi dikha sakte ho. Isn't it? Kya bole ga? 40 to mai abhi kar dunga. Right. Kya kar rahe ho bhaiya, dilli mein baith kar? Right. Pita ji ka paisa gwa rahe ho. You know, right. If you tell prelims paper, right, to your brother, sister, so they will say that. Forty questions I can do right now. Abhi, bolo. <laughs> right. Right. So then, what do you feel? <laughs> right. Because that time he is not facing a PSC. <laughs> right. He is not yet facing a PSC. So he thinks that one sen one word of the question he knows. That he knows the question. <laughs> right. So there is a huge difference. That is how I tell that any cabinet secretary name you take, anywhere when where you have to give recommendation for uh, 
good civil servants, any secretary you name take, past cabinet secretary, it will help. Because all have good personality. All have contributed this or that way. This and they have contributed big because they have a top positions. They help in those contributions largely go on, let's say, sung or we don't know them because you don't write them. This and then Ajkal ka generation to YouTube generation hai, isn't it? So YouTube pe dekhe ga wahi. <laughs>